Stable Diffusion XL release and highly positive reviews forced me to rethink my paid subscription to Midjourney. And Leonardo AI also announced the Alchemy beta upgrade. So I decided to design a test to find out which one of these three is best. We dive into the commercial art project areas and practically test these three tools using carefully chosen prompts. We'll be testing 10 different prompts of different image genres using Midjourney version 5.2, Leonardo models with Alchemy, and SDXL 0.9 to find the answer to this question. But wait, there's more. Brace yourself for a secret prompting trick about how to transform a simple idea into the correct detailed prompt. We'll unveil this towards the end. It's going to be an artistic journey. So sip your coffee, sit back and relax for the next few minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's begin our battle by generating portrait images. Here is our first prompt. It's simple yet requires a lot of creativity. For those who don't know how to use these three tools, we will demonstrate image creation only for the first prompt. For the rest of the nine prompts, we will just look at the corresponding outputs and give our verdict. Let's begin with Midjourney. As you know, it works with Discord Messenger. Here I have created a Discord server and added Midjourney BOT into my own server. Here comes my Imagine command with the corresponding prompt, and let's wait for Midjourney to produce the first set of images. As you see, it produced four images, and I think the first image is the best among these four as it pays attention to all the details in the prompt. We are going to upscale it and analyze it later, along with the other images from Stable Diffusion XL and Leonardo AI. Now let's head to the next tool. That is Stable Diffusion XL 0.9. It can be accessed on clipdrop.co website. The link you can find in the description. Here I copy-paste the same prompt and then hit generate and wait for it to produce the magic. Just remember that we are using these prompts without any special settings and we simply want the raw results that appear from these tools in this test. There is a scope for a lot of fine-tuning, but that's not the goal of this video. As you can see, this also produced four results and I think I like this one as it does justice to the prompt. When we click on this option, it's going to generate the HD version, which we are going to save for the comparison later on. Now, let's head to Leonardo and launch this tool's image generator. We are going to activate Leonardo's Alchemy Beta, which has a high resolution, contrast boost, and resonance to add more details, and going to use the model that is known to produce photorealistic results. Let's copy-paste our prompt and generate the images using Leonardo. All right. So the results are in. Let's save the results and prepare for the verdict. Can we have some drum rolls? Here comes the three portrait images, which I have placed in a Canva photo collage. As usual, Midjourney did a fantastic job and produced a really beautiful looking girl close to perfection. To be honest, I didn't expect SDXL to even come close to Midjourney with this prompt, but surprisingly, its AI models outperformed my expectations, delivering stunning results. As far as Leonardo's alchemy goes, it somehow produced two girls and looks more like a game image than photorealistic. Maybe we need to learn a bit more to understand its prompting, but for now, this result is laughable. <laughs> if I were to pick a winner, SDXL gets my vote. The delicate freckles on the cheeks, the way the shot was composed with Santorini vibes gives it a slight edge. There is a resemblance to Amber Heard, though, but the surprise creation by Open Source Tool earns it the edge. Now let's jump to the next image category, that is, animals. Here is the prompt, shot of Vaporwave Fashion Dog in Miami. Now comes the resulting images. Again, Midjourney did a fantastic job imagining this dog. Look at the clothes, expression, and background. It's fantastic. Here is SDXL. Well, the image leaves a lot to be desired and pales in comparison to Midjourney image. For Leonardo Alchemy, well, I tried many different models hoping to get something worth competing, but this is the best I could get. I guess the beta model is still far from ready. Midjourney is the undisputed winner in this category. The image is sharper, and the dog's clothes, sunglasses, and background clarity truly encapsulate the Miami vibe. Onto my favorite category, that is landscapes. 
Here is the prompt, and remember we are going to reveal the secret about how to get detailed and good prompts from basic ideas towards the end. Here are the results. This is one impressive generation from mid-journey. It takes the cake again. SDXL generation is very good and quite similar to mid-journey. Leonardo's results show again a gaming environment. Probably they have a history in game assess generation, and this is what shows a great deal in its images. Again, Mid-Journey's result is more dramatic, detailed, and symmetrical compared to SDXL. It is capturing the frozen landscape beautifully. So my verdict goes in the favor of Mid-Journey again. Let's have a quick look at our leaderboard. After three prompts, it appears that we will have close combat between SDXL 0.9 and the undisputed king of image generation, Mid-Journey version 5.2. On to the next prompt in the category, anime. Let's see how each tool performed in this category. The prompt is clever, and we want to see if we get the 1990s Tokyo vibe or not. The results are in. Mid-Journey did well again, you can feel that 90s vibe. Typography takes the viewer to Japan of 90s. SDXL results leave a lot to be desired. Something is not clicking for me in this picture, hard to say what. It's Leonardo time, and I loved the shot and setup of the scene in this one. Leonardo played to its strength in this prompt and produced some high-quality stuff. So here is my ranking. Mid-Journey, though, is good, but I clicked more with Leonardo's style and scene setup and light variations. Let's test these tools in the category of illustrations. Again, a very clever prompt request of a cat, cubism, and wavy segments at the same time. Mid-Journey once again stands out its meticulous with this prompt. SDXL picture looks like glass painting and don't know why there are eyes inside the nose of Cat. Leonardo does fairly well, but I feel this picture pales in comparison to Mid-Journey. What do you say? So here are my picks. I go with Mid-Journey as the winner in this category and Leonardo is a close second. Now let's talk about one very important area that is commercial products. We have a very simple prompt and we want to test it across the image generators. Again, Mid-Journey killed this one. Look at this bottle. I feel so thirsty just to stare at this picture. Look at the alphabet. They are so perfect. Getting them right is a big deal in AI image creation. I am surprised that Mid-Journey got them correctly, except for the small fonts, though. Okay, SDXL product is passable. Leaves a lot more to be desired. But Leonardo, <laughs> come on, boy, you are providing comic relief in this art gallery. So my verdict is straightforward in this one. Mid-journey all the way. Leonardo's image should not be there even. Let's have a look at the leaderboard before we enter our grand finale of tougher categories. Looks like mid-journey has established itself as a clear leader, or am I biased in its favor? So we are ready for the next genre that is food, and I am already feeling hungry. This time, prompt tests the texture generation capabilities. Here are the generated results. Mid-journey results are amazing as always, throwing more garnishing on top of this bowl of ramen. SDXL did a fair job, but it zooms out part of the picture and focuses on the front, and I'm not very happy with this output. Leonardo is not designed for this kind of photograph, and the broken or strangly shaped chopsticks shows it. So deciding was easy again. It's mid-journey creation that's a winner followed by SDXL and Leonardo AI is a distant third. Here comes our next prompt, and this time we want it to imagine a new creature which does not exist in reality. We want to test the composition capabilities of these tools without much guidance by us. So here's the final output. Mid-journey is like an unbeatable imagining force, really detailed picture coming straight from the sets of Game of Thrones. SDXL is not bad either. This looks good, too. Leonardo's image is simple, yet showcases the majesty of a lion. I think Mid-Journey's generation was fairly ferocious, and this caught my eye and helps it get the first prize. The second last prompt is about fashion. We want to go all colorful and generate images that are wacky and beyond normal when it comes to modern fashion. Result time again. Mid-Journey killed it with the colors, candy, and fruity fashion statement that this model is making. SDXL is not bad either. In fact, the more you stare at it, the more you like it. Leonardo is just a participant in this, and I somehow could not get it working for me. Results? 
Again, Mid Journey beats SDXL. The fight was very, very narrow. What do you think? The last image category is 3D render, and the prompt is very simple, yet challenging because of its texture requirements and shape definition expectation. Quick verdict, again, this picture makes me hungry. It is simply stunning creation by Mid Journey. Well, this is not what I expect, but it tried to match it with the cube shape, at least. Again, Leonardo went into game burger mode. There is no contest here. Mid Journey is the undisputed winner of this category. Overall, too, the leaderboard is skewed in the favor of Mid Journey. Though there is a tremendous improvement in SDXL 0.9 version, and being an open source tool available for free, I'm really excited about the Stable Diffusion's progress. Finally, it's time to reveal the trick to make your simple ideas look really amazing. In fact, I will reveal two tricks, not just one. First one is using a chat GPT plugin called Photorealistic. You can install it using the plugin store of ChatGPT+. Once installed, you can just type your idea and it will give you two detailed prompts which you can directly copy, paste into Midjourney or any other image generator of your choice. Have a look at this example where I asked it to imagine a girl happily dancing to the music in a disco and the resulting prompts that are amazing and produce Woo! stunning results. The second trick is to use Midjourney itself. For example, if you like an image and you want to generate in the same style, you can simply ask Midjourney using slash describe command followed by the image. It will suggest you four prompts and you can customize these prompts and ask Midjourney to generate afresh using these hints. These tricks will make your image generation and prompting super professional. Thank you for watching. Our channel is all about introducing the latest and most useful AI tools. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the newest AI tools. See you in the next video.